First, let's get to what was true and what wasn't. Our verified, verified team, I should say, was fact-checking the debate in real time last night. So let's get to 13 News Now reporter Adriana De Alba joining us now with some of the findings from last night. Adriana, good morning. Good morning, you two. Well, we're looking at claims from both President Trump and Joe Biden. So let's start with the former vice president. Last night, Biden claimed 10 million people lost health insurance during the recession. So our Verify team found that is mostly true. They're citing a report by the Economic Policy Institute, which says 12 million Americans may have lost health insurance from losing their jobs since February. But it's unknown how many people found coverage through another source during that time. And those final numbers may not be available available until get this next year. And then there was a claim by the president on mail in ballots. Last night, President Trump said some states will let people submit their ballots a week after Election Day. This is also true, but it needs some context. So here's what you need to know. All mail in ballots have to be postmarked on or before Election Day in order for them to be counted. We're live in Norfolk. Adriana Vanva, 13 News Now. All right, thank you.